learn a very interesting topic that is linear equations in one variable. Then what is linear equation? Yes, Maria, you know about linear lines, is it? What is linear equation? Linear equation means equations of first order. Have you learned first order in previous class? Yes, I hope you have learned because I already told you what is first order. Is it first order means that is having a degree one. Having degree one, those are called as first order. We call it as linear equations. Okay, they are linear equations in one variable. Is it? What is one variable? You only know about variables and constants. Is it? What are variables? Yes, my dears. Variables means these are represented by small letters of English alphabets. Is it? That is A B C D whatever it may be, but that should have only one single variable. Those are called as linear equations in one variable. Means variables which are having an equation, those should have degree one or order one. Those are called as linear equations. For example, I have written here equation of a straight line. Equation of straight line is y is equal to m x plus B. Yes, my dears, you will learn about this equation in your 10th standard. Okay? What is this? This is the equation of straight line. This is for your extra knowledge. Y is equal to mx plus B. Now, I have given another example here. Ax plus B is equal to 0. You might have not confused here. Why ma'am has written Ax plus B? Ma'am has told only one variable is there. Yes, my dears. Here, x is the variable. This is the variable, and a and b, a and b are two integers. They may be a negative, they may be a positive. Okay? These two are integers, a and b are integers, and x is the only one variable. So we call it as linear equation, say one variable. This my dear, if I write like this, a y plus b is equal to zero. Is it a linear equation? Yes, definitely it is a linear equation. Just because here also it is having a single variable. Linear equation in uh, one variable. Because it is having only one variable. In the place of x or in place of y, you can write any of the small letter on forward in English. Okay? If they have given 3, z plus 4 is equal to 0. This is also having only one variable that is z. Okay? Only one variable. So we call it as linear equation say one variable. Okay? Yes my dears. I hope you understood now what is actually equations of first order means linear equation and what for uh, which equations we call as linear equation say one variable. Now we shall go through the some examples and how can we find out the value of variable. What they have given in your textbook. Very first example. You see here. Find the solution of 2x minus 3 is equal to 7. Here solution means nothing but don't get confused for your, yourself. Solution means finding the value of variable. Okay. Here which is the variable they have given. Observe here. 2x minus 3 is equal to 7. Is it? Which is the variable? X is the variable. If we consider this as LHS and this as right HS, um, RHS, right hand side, left hand side. Okay? Now, you see here, in the left hand side there is 2X. This is the variable. Now, we have to find the uh, variable here. X value of X. Just see here. 2X minus 3 is equal to 7. We have to transfer this to RHS. 2x is equal to 7. If it is minus, it will become plus 3. Is it? Next, 2, 2x is equal to 7 plus 3 is 10. 2x is equal to 10. We want only the value of x. So, transfer this to, to this side. So, x is equal to 10 divided by 2. Means to ones are to fives are. Therefore, the value of x is equal to five. What is the value of x? X is equal to five. I hope you understood how to find out the value of given variable or the solution for given problem. Okay, my dear.
Yes. Next we should move on to the second one. Solve 2y plus 9 is equal to 4. Observe. Is it a linear equation of one variable? Yes. It is a linear equation of one variable. Because it is having to be one variable. That is y here. Here we have find out value of x. Now we should find out the value of y. Okay. 2y plus 9 is equal to 4. Is it? Now transfer this 9 to this side. Here it was minus. So we take an as plus. Here it is minus. So we have to take it as minus. 2y is equal to 4 minus 9. Therefore y is equal to 4 minus 9 means minus 5. Therefore y is equal to minus 5. We Transfer, sorry, 2y is equal to minus 5. Here y means we have to transfer this 5 to right hand side. So here it is multiplication. It becomes division. So y is equal to minus 5 by 2. What is the value? y is equal to minus 5 by 2. Don't get confused. Why I have kept minus here? Because greater number sign is minus. 9 is greater than 4. If we subtract 4 from 9. Yes, my dears, observe here what I have written in the word. This is x divided by 3 plus 5 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. Here you observe this is an integer. We don't want this, is it? We need only this much because we have to find out the value of variable that is x here. So transfer this 5 by 2 to the right hand side. Then it will become, let me get into the solution. By 3 plus 5 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. Is it? Now we transfer this to this side. So x divided by 3 is equal to 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2. 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2. You observe here both the denominators are same. We can subtract these two numbers. So 3 minus 5.